And I'm gonna count that as a win. They probably put it in and pushed it down and You are now watching Farming with Duffy Ag. Welcome back to the channel. I'm trying to beat the snow today. So where we were has already got snow yesterday. Um, this old girl, she ran really, really good. So a lot of uh, a lot of things to do with her, but yeah, for being a 1974, she's putting the work in. We got to do some work on her. Um, like I said, I think the air compressor is leaking oil on the other side now. Um, we were good, no oil for multiple trips, and now I got a leak over there. I got some oily. We got to run through and grease it, um, clean the cab out. Just regular maintenance, check everything over. Nothing too crazy. It's a Sunday. I did run 15 hours yesterday um, in this, so probably... Probably not get too crazy today. Have an easier day. Do have to hook it up to this trailer and pull this trailer forward. The reason I keep doing that, you see it in the videos, it's hooked up, it's not hooked up. So if you remember when I got this, the front we sealed up and it all kind of slopes to that. So if you leave it there, if you leave it level, it slopes there and water sits there and it slowly drips down inside. So learn that the hard way. As I sealed it and sealed it and sealed it, there's gotta be Something's not completely bound, but it's just a drip. So if the whole top is level, we get like a little pond up there. So if I pull it forward, it just runs off the back and it doesn't leak at all. But alrighty, let me uh, pop this open, run through everything, check out things. Um, really needs a bath. That's what it really needs. Oh, we gotta work on the other door too. So but I appreciate you guys watching along. Um, if you've watched previous videos, at the end of the two videos ago, I said, for those of you who watched the whole video, 20% off DuffyAg.com. Use Duffy20. Um, good till December 6th at midnight. That way I can ship things out. International packages, do, you're not going to get it by Christmas. It's just how it is. It takes forever. So, Alrighty. Let's dive into this. Pop it open. See what's going on. So you take care of these old trucks. They take care of you. Grease oil, preventative maintenance, tires and brakes. That's really what it is. Um, so greasing everything, checking the brakes, which we got all new brakes all around. We're good there for a while. Um, big thing, king pins. Otherwise you gotta replace them. So there's a pin that goes down through everything. And that is what holds your uh, steer tire hub onto that front axle. So kind of a, good thing to get after um and we'll all the filters uh all the filters are good um let's see actually it's got a little leak around this like it's not tight tight but it is so maybe that seal's going bad up at the top we'll just keep an eye so that was put on two four three one six four let me move this back here as far as back here we should be really good i got my can of oil what did we just say that was? Two four. Two nine four six one. I think. You know what's great? Take a picture of it and then you can compare it. Okay. Two hundred and ninety-three thousand one hundred and sixty-four is when we put it on. When we changed the oil, put it on. Um so we've done 2500 miles on it just about so those are still good um we just got to keep an eye and see why it's got a little bit of build up that's the first time there that i've seen that but keep everything good um alrighty so the dilemma here as far as previously the people said you got to jack that up okay i think i got a tool for that though now let's give it a try 
you know, I've partnered with Vivor on a lot of stuff and they've been sending me stuff and I'm excited for that because they have a ridiculous amount of shop stuff. I didn't even know. The other day I went, went through their whole site um, and gave them a wish list actually of things that I could use coming into 2023 because, well, the plan is to not be working outside and uh, have a little more comfort and work in a shop. So there's a hint of what we got to look forward to. So as you know, I've been working with Vivor on multiple different tools that they've been saying, hey, try these out, does it fit your life? And I'm excited to say we're gonna continue that into 2023 because I have had a lot of useful stuff um, and their product line is absolutely awesome. So previously they sent me this jack and I know Andy Horrigan got one. Um, it was a larger roller one. I like how compact this is and I think this will be a lot better than a bottle jack or a rolly jack. I, I don't actually have a, a floor jack um, to slide underneath and get things that are really low up and then block. So I'm gonna throw this together and we're gonna use it on that truck. So let's see if this uh, does what we need it to do. It was easy enough, put it together, six bolts, put the hose on. So it can lift three tons, max height. Um, Minimum height is 13 centimeters, which, you know, max height 40. So I'm gonna throw it underneath that axle and it's just gonna lift it up enough that we can actually, we gotta do these covers too. Um, we can actually grease the kingpins. I really, before this truck, greasing kingpins, things like that, I don't know what I'm doing. So, what do we got a little scuff in there, a little chipping? Um, yeah. She's in her work clothes. We gotta buff this hood at some point. It'll be pretty nice. Um, but a lot of people in the comments said, hey, you gotta lift the axle up to grease the kingpins. I didn't know that, so I appreciate you guys in the comments. I'm always learning. That's part of this life. So the only thing that a bottle jack is really useful compared to this jack, not saying a negative side, but bottle jack, you just crank it up. Or you could have an air jack like we have previously from Vivor and it rocks around in the truck um but the thing that makes this really convenient is we got portable air and yeah my stuff is all in here so that is the reason and that actually came this spring from a fan um I did announce it I think when it came I was blown away so guy you really I got some really good people in my life so that's going to be awesome for next year uh portable I got some other tools that I'm working towards setting up something that's portable so that I can have service because I do plan on farming with very minimal help um, and being distance away such as when I'm hauling manure stuff like that so think thinking ahead but mint I love it so all we got here we put this together real simple design you got an on off to lift and lower I never tightened anything at the fittings here. Let me do that first. Okay, now we got it good. So, green, holy. That's got some lift. And then, pull the red one out and it drops it down. Yeah, that would be better having it go that way. <laughs> so here's where I'm thinking. If I get that right underneath there and I lift it up and you can you can see the mud from dragging through two weeks ago. This thing really needs another bath. Maybe we'll get a warm day. But uh let me put you guys over here. Let me close that one.
didn't need to lift it all the way off the ground. Like it, it's up, but we don't need a huge gap in between it. So the tires are lifted just enough. That we got a little bit of gap underneath it, took the pressure off it, now we can grease that. So let's close this one. That one's closed. That works pretty slick because of the height difference. So in spots where I need to get it up just enough so we can get a 20 ton jack underneath it, I think that's gonna be our tool for it. So link down below on that. Um, handy so got the kingpins greased up both sides top and bottom back over here lifting a truck like this is pretty heavy so i'm impressed by this it says three tons um and that's definitely going to be handy in a lot of spots so then we open up and it's got a mesh Popped open the air filter, pulled it up, so it looks real good. Um, I haven't actually touched the twin tip turbine air filter, which I know, I know, you get excited and you forget about things like that. So I just pulled this apart. I said, I've been working this truck, might as well get an air filter. And that's the top, that's the bottom. <laughs> Somebody left a wrench in there. And I'm gonna count that as a win. They probably put it in and pushed it down and it looks like it's got a little bit of Loctite on it. Yep. <laughs> or never sees on it. That is freaking sick. Matco tools, four inch. I wonder how long that's been in there. Long, long time. So got the part number off this filter. It's a Wix. Um, I always thought there was an air filter in there, but there's nothing in there. So I did reach out to my Mac buddies and say, hey, is there supposed to be something in there? It kind of like, it's a different setup. So double check that. While I was doing that, I was like, ooh, this hose, is, which goes from here up to there, like pushes air up. I'm like, this hose is a, and then I started messing with it and I was like, made it worse. So we'll grab a new section of hose there, which it was looking pretty raggedy. Um. Then I can close the hood. Then I just gotta grease the drivetrain back. Um, oil and uh, axle should be good because we did check it twice after we redid the wheel bearings and the wheel, the wheel seals and the brakes. So let me pull that off. And it's snowing. I don't know if you, yeah, you guys should be able to see that it's a little whiter color. My buddy's got like two inches of snow already. So out where we were, Carter Cummins who runs Snowcat. I think he's been up all morning in the blizzard up on the mountains and whatnot. He told me something which I I always wondered. Because the last week it was like 50 the one day and he's like, all our snow's melting. And he said from the base of their mountain to the top is just a six degree difference. So even when it's 50, the stuff on the top is melting away. But that is on my list. We're gonna ride in the snowcat one night. We just gotta time it right because well, he's out there from like 10 o'clock at night till six in the morning. Uh, Cause they do it when people aren't skiing, you know. But yeah, at some point we'll time it right. Hopefully we'll get a blizzard. Last year, one of our buddies, he, he got to ride around and he went out and didn't even, they didn't even know it. They got hit by the freak blizzard. It was insane the amount of work he was doing in it. And it's a skilled thing, absolutely skilled thing. So snow farming, let me get this off. You'd think we spent 15 hours in this yesterday. He'd not want to come drive it around, but he's been following me around like puppy dogs since I started it up and moved it. So we got a little bit of a slope tour. Kill off. I didn't get as much done as I wanted to, but as you see the road, it's done. And hey, 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 we're not going that way. You, you can't go in the road. Come on. People don't, don't stop. Um yeah if yeah two years three years ago i'd probably sit out here and keep working on it in the snow freeze my hands off but i'm just doing preventative stuff 
We can hang out some. Did I shut that door all the way? No. There we go. Yeah, I guess we're going to call it a day. So this video might might get dragged into another one. And, uh, well, we might do some more work on this once it warms up or bring it over to Frank's and get it washed and pull it in the shop and just mess around with it a little bit. We'll see what goes on. Um, clearly somebody's ready for dinner. What time is it? It's not even dinner time. It's 4.30. You don't eat till 5. This dark early stuff is throwing your schedule out. <laughs> Alrighty. I appreciate you guys watching along. We'll see what else we get into. I wish these plows were sitting inside. They're rusting a little bit more on the top. But I believe these will be able to go inside when we get to this, the new place. That will be able to go inside. 7520 will be able to go inside. Um, yeah. Stuff will be able to be put inside, which will be, will be totally different. Got storage, inside storage, shop workspace. So I'm excited. Really excited. Appreciate you guys watching along. Yeah. Don't forget, 20% off DuffyAg.com. Promo code Duffy20. Um, also the Vivor. I moved that forward quite a bit. Also the Vivor. Uh, link down below. Awesome products. They're priced nicely. Um, really priced nicely. So I went through everything I'm looking forward to. I guess I got a box there too. I'm losing it. Alrighty, appreciate you guys watching. I'll see you guys on the next one. Have a good one.